What is up, my Planet Coaster friends? Johnny Five Alive here, and we are back with another episode of Yeti Land. And in today's episode, we are going to be finally finishing up Darla the Coaster. And that means we're going to be covering the custom supports that we built in the last episode with Yetis. And then we're going to be doing our final lighting to the supports, some uh, effects, and then it, it'll be done, I think. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, let's just dive right into it. It's been a while since we did some Yeti land and I finally got Darla finished, I think. I'm pretty happy with where it's at. And uh, so we're basically just taking our Yetis and placing them all over the supports. So we're at 10 times speed for this video today and it's gonna be about 30 minutes of footage. Um, so quite a, quite a bit of uh, uh, yetis we get on this it's I'm gonna guess like 50 to 100 of these guys it's absolutely crazy so it should go by pretty quick in terms of uh, posing them and whatnot because of the 10 times speed but we're just gonna be trying to bring it all to life so the whole goal here is to try and get all these different yetis at perspectives so you'll see here I'll ride the camera and then I'll pause the camera it's really quick because it's at 10 times speed but my uh, strategy was to just kind of get a good perspective of the supports pause it pose a yeti and then continue on so we're gonna get all sorts of crazy yetis all over this thing it's gonna be a lot of fun and I think you guys are gonna enjoy the final result now usually at the end of every episode I ride the coaster but um since since we're pretty much done with darla i think i'm gonna wait and uh do like a presentation video so i'll have to build something like that and nonetheless you guys will get like a glimpse of it all you'll get a sneak peek of it all and um you'll get to see me build it all so it'll still be a, uh, an exciting episode it'll be rewarding um but i think what we're gonna do is I'm going to compose some sort of little short film of Darla, do some sort of introduction for Yeti Land, um, and like kind of show off Frank, show off Darla, show off the children, have some panning shots here and there, and then show off Darla, and then we'll do some point of view with some nice music and what have you, and, um, and then we're going to move on to something else in Yeti Land. Now, um, somebody asked me if I could do a Yeti Land update video because I know some of you guys are new to the series and haven't seen all of the episodes. Um, so there, so there is some people that don't really know everything about Yeti Land so far. So I think we could probably squeeze in an update episode, possibly after this one. Um, and I just, I'll just go around the map showing you guys everything that we've done throughout the twenty somewhat episodes that we're releasing. Uh, I think this is episode 18, I'm not quite sure, or maybe 19. Um, so yeah, that, that might be fun, just kind of show you guys, give you a tour of what's going on. And some people have been asking, like, when are we going to open up the park? And, you know, uh, we don't have any guests in our park yet. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the footage here. I must have gone AFK for a second there. Um, yeah, so people have been asking when we're going to open up the park. Well, just to reiterate on that, uh, we don't want to open the park up right now because we don't have any paths and, you know, we having people walking. Yeah, they just don't have anywhere to go. Um, and we're trying to build a scenario right now. So the objective be behind a scenario map is much like any scenario map that you've played in the career mode. Um, sometimes they have one or two coasters, a few rides, and some sort of a landscape and a theme. And then your objective is to build a park on it. So we're building a scenario, and then when we'll, you know, we'll eventually re release, release that to the public, people will be able to build a park on Yeti Land, and, um, and it'll come with a, a few little things here and there. So in order to get this scenario at a completed stage, we, we need... You know the Darla coaster. We needed the the theme. We still got to make the Yeti War, and um, we might do a few other things, some rides with some ride skins. Um, so we need the whole scenario to come together before we can even, you know, open the park. And the opening the park part should be 
up to the people who download the scenario. If they want to open it up right away, if they want to continue building on it, you know, they should have the choice to decide when and what, you know, what they do with the park opening day. And for us, I want us to have a glorious day one park opening day. So the way it's going to work is we still have to do a Yeti land entrance sign. So it's like, welcome to Yeti, Yeti land. Um, excuse me. Um, then once we have that in, we got it. We're still doing our Yeti war. So maybe you guys can let me know in the comments, uh, what we should be doing next. Cause there's two things that I want or three things I want to do next. So I'll let you guys choose right now and just let me know down in the comments. Um, one, I want to do kind of like the Yeti War, where we put all the Yetis on the battlefield, we put the snowmen on the battlefield, we put the gingerbread men, we get some catapults going, we get some, uh, you know, just like a big battle, probably build a couple giant snowmen, um, put some of, a few workshop items down, I've downloaded a few Santas and a few different things, uh, a couple hilarious little sets. Uh, nothing big though, we want most of the stuff in Yeti Land to be created by us, so... Uh, the, the war zone is it would take a lot of time it would probably be a few episodes but I think it'd be a lot of fun and it would really solidify the kind of the last things that we need to do in our scenario then there's also building the park entrance the Yeti land sign that shouldn't actually be too hard uh, I, th I think it would be something like the 1000 subscriber sign that you just got a glimpse of there but in the front probably with blue letters some pretty lights kind of like the Darla station we will put some Christmas lights on it and some blue mushroom lights and just pretty it up make a nice sign a nice welcome to Yeti land kind of sign. And then the third idea would be jumping right into another coaster. Uh, while I really want to do that, we just got finished with Darla, so maybe it would be good to switch it up. So the next coaster that we will be building for this scenario is a dive coaster. And we're going to be doing that in the Pit of Death. So this catapult you see here is something I downloaded from the workshop. Um, I can't remember the author's name off by heart right now um, but I did notice it had a problem I was trying to launch it and it actually kind of collided with itself so it's actually doesn't function properly which is kind of unfortunate um, so I just deleted some of the flags off of it replaced the cannonballs with snowballs because the eddies are playful and they just want to shoot snowballs and I had the idea of just kind of shooting a yeti at the coaster so when you're flying by you see a yeti soaring through the air so I thought that was just something fun to switch it up uh, anyways, getting back to what I was saying is the, the dive coaster is uh, it's going to be hanging over that pit of doom that we created a few episodes ago. And uh, I wanted to drop, I want to have it looking into the hole and hold you there for a bit and then drop you into the hole. And the dive coasters are really light carts. They're like, I think, 10 or 20 seats wide and two or three rows in depth I can't remember exactly but each one of those little carts holds quite a bit of people and they're fairly light because they don't have a long um, train so it's just little individual carts uh, so they are light and when we drop it into the dive and when we dive it into the cave it's gonna lose speed really quickly eventually so We'll be able to do some radical stuff with it really quickly drop it into the cave you know go through some ice caverns we could use our lighting maybe some purple some blue some white and make some crystals and stuff i thought this was kind of cool here i'm launching the snowman or the yeti at a snowman and he's kind of like no um just having fun here posing them and uh just talking about other stuff while we kill time so anyways um and back to the dive coaster, I wanted to basically drop down into the pit of death and you're going straight down. I'll probably have a skull at the bottom and some fire or something. And then it swoops up into a crystal cavern or some sort. And then it just kind of, you know, does some loops around there and, you know, a couple twists and heart rolls or whatever and some things like that. And then it's going to eventually... Uh, pop its way back up and we'll probably have some yetis inside the cave along the cavern walls and stuff so you, well, you're flying by them uh, and then the end of the coaster is when the lift actually begins so the coaster will come out of the station straight into the the pit of doom so there will be no lift until the end of the coaster and I'm thinking the end of the coaster the lift would pop out somewhere in yeti land and it could be probably back here somewhere I'm thinking and uh, it'll pop out and from the lift and then it'll just kind of, we'll have some drive wheels 
and then it'll just kind of roll its way back towards the station and be kind of like relaxing on the way back probably get some nice views of Darla on the way back I'm not sure and that's just the general concept for the dive coaster I think it'd be cool to have two coasters for the scenario of Yeti land um, I'm still unsure though and the reason I want to kind of like hold off on it is because maybe we don't even need it um, maybe it'd be best to just try to wrap up Yeti land altogether and build it when we're Build, put, putting the park together I'm not really sure so there's those three things that I'm thinking about doing is the park entrance sign the Yeti war and the dive coaster so let me know what you guys think would be interesting to see in the next episode uh, honestly I think it'd be fine if we just went straight into the Yeti land sign made the entrance uh, touched up that entrance area so we can even you know at least start playing around with the idea of opening up the park put in the yetis and the war and then from there everything will start to come together quite quickly um it, it'll be pretty good uh there's still some stuff that we need to do after we do the wars like kind of more destroyed gingerbread houses and stuff however i do want to leave most of that for or like bits of that for when we actually open the park and building build ourselves a theme park and the park is open so the way i think i'm going to treat that like the let's play like when we actually open up the park and start building um after the scenario is complete i think the way we're going to treat that is we'll work section by section so as soon as you come into the park there you come in underneath that gingerbread land so maybe that'll be like episode one and we build ourselves a gingerbread land we'll probably load it up with steam workshop stuff because we want to wrap this project up so after the scenario is done, we'll probably reach out to, you know, a majority of the stuff from the Steam Workshop. And you guys are also welcome to participate. Uh, it, like, for example, if we're building the festive gingerbread area, if you guys have festive blueprints that are nice, I could check them out. And if they fit and they work, we'll, we'll try and find a spot for them. Uh, a few people have submitted me a few things for the Yeti Land side. Uh, we need some, like, igloos and ice caves and kind of neat little things that are fitting to the yeti land area so we can have some shops and stuff over in yeti land where the yetis are and we need it to make sense for the yetis so i was thinking like igloos and things like that if you guys have any ideas like snow mounds with shops inside of them that would be cool so when we get to that stage we're probably going to be using a majority of all blueprints uh from the workshop i have a few of my own that we can use uh, so we'll just go section by section and like each episode will be an entire section. It'll go pretty quickly because I just plop down a few blueprints, put some paths in and get it looking kind of nice, throw in some lamps and some lights and, um, you know, try and find some ride skins online. And this part, you guys will all be able to interact and have fun with me along the way. If you see a good ride skin or a, uh, suitable blueprint, uh, just feel free to put a link to it down in the comments and we'll add it to the collection and then we'll just you know work from area to area and the way we do the episodes you guys will be able to keep up and participate so if we're the first I'll, I'll get let you guys know like as we're the day before we open up Yeti land uh, what section we're starting with first likely be the festive area and in that episode you guys can send me links to blueprints that you think would be awesome and we'll build the whole festive area at 10 times speed again uh, or you know 6 to 10 times speed and then once the episode is done I'll pan some cameras around and we'll ride a few rides that we put in that area and you guys will get to soak up that one mini area of the park then the next episode will go over to like sci-fi land and we'll use mo majority of my sci-fi blueprints mixed in with a few of them from the workshop but I've made so many sci-fi blueprints we could pretty much build sci-fi land using all of my stuff so that'll be a fun little episode as well and then from there we'll like I still want to build a bit of the destroyed gingerbread area where the yetis are all wreaking havoc for the scenario but we might elaborate on it and expand on it more when we actually open up the park because we don't really know what the area is going to look like we need rides so we're probably only going to build bits of it or half of it for the scenario 
and then we'll have some scattered stuff in between some rides here and there maybe like a random uh ride right in the middle of the battlefield um we'll have a few things over in yeti land as well where the yetis are and then we have this little fantasy area back here that'll be probably one of the last episodes um and we'll just fill it up with castles and um you know different stuff like maybe some stuff from papa dodu um whatever we can find that's fantasy themed we'll stuff over here on this area of the park and that'll pretty much be it then we'll probably do a few custom coasters along the way nothing crazy like darla just something fun i have a few ideas i like the idea of a snow hopper it goes a straight vertical lift and then it goes down into the ground comes back out of the snow down into the ground goes out of the snow and it's just a straight vertical forward up and down up and down and then maybe it goes underground and connects back in so that would be simple doesn't take up too much space you guys got to remember we're on the small map so uh we don't have a whole lot of work to uh room to work with in terms of coasters and we want most of it to be theme park re related so lots of shops lots of flat rides um lots of themed buildings and a few coasters in each section I've, i found a few pretty nice placeable blueprints that are perfect for our theme like snowy style blueprints i think that'll be really fun so when we actually get to the let's play i'm thinking it might only end up being like six episodes we'll see um maybe a little bit longer i'm probably underestimating it but each episode will build a whole section of the park and i can't see there being too much more than five or six sections of this park um you know and then we'll have some stuff in between where i'm maybe building a coaster because i'm like oh i think this will really be really nice here or i'll come up with an idea uh we'll, we'll see how it goes but you know most of the work was really prepping the scenario and building the scenario and making the theme yeti land so um at the end of the day the big project is coming to an end in a sense we've got this crazy terrain we got the frank darla betsy all the baby yetis we really just need to do the war zone a few more destroyed gingerbread houses um you know an entrance sign and you know we've got our custom train station running around with all our own custom uh stations so we've really put a lot of work into it and the scenario really uh it the scenario is to me kind of like the finished product it's the the best thing to be proud about because at the end of the day everybody gets to download this and build a park on it and it's a it's a scenario so a lot of people will get to use yeti land and have fun with yeti land and build on yeti land and do something different and make their own coasters on it and everyone will have their own design so um long live yeti land in that sense I, I like the fact that we put all this detail in making one of the um more complicated and interesting care you know uh um scenarios in planet coaster it has a lot of character it has you know we have many characters <laughs> the whole thing has you know it's come to life so i think uh, Yeti land the scenario is really the reward at the end of the day and building a park at the end of it is gonna come together quite quickly it took 18 20 episodes you know probably got a few more episodes to go if not half a dozen more before the scenario is really completed and um, and and to me that's kind of like the finished product and slapping together a park on it after will go really quickly because you're just putting blueprints down, putting a ride skin down, putting a ride down, putting some cues and paths and some lights, and you start filling that space really quickly. You gotta remember everything we've done up till now has been meticulous and time consuming. Um, you know, everything is just fiddle, 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 and you know, lots of groups, lots of individual details. And when you get down to building the park, um, it, it gets, uh, really everything starts to speed up and go really quick um, hold on I'm getting Skype messages people are thumping sorry guys uh, I guess some dinner is here anyways I'll finish this video and, he, and, and uh, 
and we'll just well, I lost my train of thought um yeah anyways that's a lot of talk about the park the future of the park I want to wrap the 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 series up as soon as possible uh, I just wish <clears throat> things would have gone a lot faster if I had more time to work on it we've been so busy with spotlights different things on the channel and just trying to keep the channel alive um, getting more subscribers views and bringing that sort of thing in and I'm glad the Yeti land has started to pick up and get more views and I'm hoping we can do some more let's builds let's plays more workshop creations content in the future um, I got some other things in the works and some plans for some other stuff on the channel and hopefully things will start to pick up and smooth out in the coming uh, weeks so uh, in terms of Yeti land I feel like I, I, I will be able to make some time for it soon and really just crank and get a lot of progress and just get this thing out the door because you know we've been doing little bits here on the weekend for the last like two months and it would be nice to just uh get it completed so if that means i have to do some less spotlights and more yeti land that's what we'll just have to do um, i'm gonna have to just not worry too much about the views and uh, focus more on creativity because that's what Planet Coaster is all about and um, I, th I think we're getting to a point where all the coming episodes for Yeti Land are all gonna be pretty exciting you got the like I said the Yeti war destroying some gingerbread stuff and then building an actual park and each one of these episodes is just gonna start growing so quickly and um, like I said, the hardest part was laying the foundation, getting everything down, all the meticulous details, and we're past that. So I can see from here on out, the every episode is going to be exciting, fast, furious, and we're just going to crank through it. And we're going to see this thing, you know, from 20 episodes, it's been long and grindy. And suddenly in the last 10 episodes, it's going to all come together really quickly. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. And we're really getting through the grindy stuff now. We're, we're kind of at the home stretch. Uh, like I said, part of me almost wants to skip on doing the dive coaster so we can just get the rest of the park ready to go. Um, the Yeti War, the sign, and some de destroyed gingerbread houses. And from there, we're pretty much done the scenario. And I can decide then and there, should I still do this dive coaster? But I think it's a great idea to have that coaster still. And... Um, might as well go ahead and do that so we have two really cool coasters coming with this park so um yeah um we're just playing around with yetis still and uh you can see that i'm making a row of yetis every time i pose one i put it over off to the side i'm actually going to reuse those yet later for the war and um we're just gonna have i have all these pre-posed yetis and uh we're going to be able to like reuse them for the war. So now that I have so many posed yetis, we could probably get to doing the war um, pretty quickly because I could reuse a lot of these poses. However, there are some new ones that I want to incorporate. I have some ideas and I want to play around with some fun stuff there. So uh, I kind of want to do that next, to be honest. It, it's I'm kind of dreading it at the same time because I know I'm going to have to pose like a hundred yetis and a hundred snowmen and a, like so many gingerbread men. And um, I have some cool blueprints that I thought would be nice to integrate into this. Like I, I found a, a, a sleigh and some neat things, some Santa, Mrs. Claus, um, a few little things, just not too many blueprints from the workshop, but a few that I felt would work really good with the war, such as that catapult. We can launch some snowman, we can launch some yetis, we can do all sorts of crazy stuff and have a lot of fun with it. So I kind of want to do it next, but just kind of get it done with. But part of me is like, oh, it's going to be so much work. And part of me just wants to, you know, build things and not place yetis over and over and over again. <laughs> By the time we're done this, we've placed like hundreds of these yetis. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and part of me wants to really just, you know, Make sure it's out of the way so we can build our sign and, like I said, all that stuff and really just open up the park and start building a park. I really want to get to that. And that Yeti War has to be done before we can move on. So I figured I might as well do it next and um, 
just slog through it get it done and it'll be really rewarding in the end when you get to see it all come together so i think it'll be worth it and i think it'll be fun let me know what you guys think down in the comments um and we still need to do the yeti welcome sign so may, maybe just bang off all that maybe i'll have some time to do that um I don't know when I'm going to find time to do all this. I, I have some stuff in the works right now, guys, and some things that I'm working on. So you'll find out about that soon enough. And um, that's kind of why I didn't get to do too much Yeti Land this week. Uh, all the recordings that you guys saw this week were done on the weekend and Monday so that I had time to work on some new things. And... Um, I think I'm going to have a little bit more time to work on Yeti Land this weekend. And um, so hopefully tomorrow or Sunday I'll get a little bit more done and that'll be the war possibly. I'm not too sure, but we'll figure it out and we'll get through it. And hopefully in the, in the next week or two we'll be um, opening up the park or saving out the scenario so here i'm actually adding in all the special effects i thought it would be cool to have some snow blowing over the the edges of the banks of where the snow ends and it's so since it's so close to the track you'll get that snow blowing in your face as you're going through and uh, it gives a really cool effect so just these final touches going through here adding in all the blizzards oh, around the edges um, and then we go in and we're going to do some lighting after this a um, few people mentioned in the comments like there should be some lighting and uh, I agreed with that I didn't I, I was I, I wanted to do the white box lights but then I had to go with the blue mushrooms and then I was thinking doing a combination but I felt the blue mushroom lights worked really well we got them in the Darla station we got them on the Yeti land uh, train station so they they work really well and i like the way they glimmer and they have kind of a cool sound effect with with them they're kind of mystical and they they sound sparkly so um what's interesting here is i actually haven't ridden the coaster since i finished all the special effects and lighting uh, i just closed it down took the footage crunched it and started hitting record so i could get this out to you guys um, once I'm done this, I'm going to start working on a presentation for Yeti Land Darla Coaster. We're going to do a point of view video. And um, I'll try and come up with something cool for that. And then I'll probably release that. Uh, I'm going to hope tomorrow. So you guys will hopefully see the finished Darla run start to back with music, sound effects. You'll get to see all the little crazy Yetis. Um, it'll have a nighttime shot, a daytime shot, and some panning cameras for presentation. Um, we'll try and tell a little story out of it or do something cool with it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but it'll turn out great and it'll be fun. Uh, there will be no commentary in it. It'll just be some sort of presentation. So, um, yeah, I also... I, did, I forgot to mention this, but somebody said in the comments, could you try doing blocking stations to get more coasters on... Darla and I ripped things apart and I did it off camera just to test and uh, I couldn't find any good spots to put blocking stations in I you need minimum three in their order to get a third coaster on and I did that and it just didn't work out so um, I really should have thought about that before finalizing it but at the same time it it still would have been problematic um, blocking stations tend to I, I mean, I'm not too experienced with them but they tend to slow down the coaster and that like they have to they include brakes I believe so you I wanted this to be one smooth running coaster start to finish and we have two coasters on it that are very long and they fit like 30 people on them so um, I think the coaster is just over two minutes in duration so it there's enough um, people getting on and off every minute so I, I don't think the queue times and the wait times are going to be too bad on it uh, it's going to be the most expensive coaster in the park and yada 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 so I think it'll be fine but 
I did like the idea of having like four or five running on this coaster and just seeing them all whizzing by with the triggered lights and stuff. Um, but next time in the future when I start doing a massive coaster, I'll probably think more about blocking stations and getting multiple carts onto the coaster. Um, however, everything is an experimentation. You, you have to layer on your education as you're playing this game. And for me, I have made almost... 10 coasters now but none of them have really been experimented with blocking s stations i've always gotten away with you know doing it without them and you know sometime in the future i'm gonna have to play around with that and i didn't feel like darla was worth experimenting on i i wanted to do something that i was confident in that i could make it look good and you know run well front to back and we accomplished that had I been messing around with all these blocking sections, it may not have turned out as good. So it's better to leave experimentation for something that you don't care as much about and something you're just willing to wing it on. So anyways, these are all the lights. You'll get a glimpse of it in a second here. It's really sparkly. The whole thing is lit up at night. It looks really good and magical. I wish I could slow it down for you guys. I probably should have done a final presentation, but I forgot to. But Darla is officially finished now. We got lights. We got effects. We got Yetis all over it. And we're completely done with Darla. So it's been a fun process. It only took us a few episodes, but I'm out of footage, guys. So be sure to stay tuned for the presentation coming up after this sometime tomorrow. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.